Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. We're just coming into the late stages of the Touchline, considering that it is a weekend where we're having many things happening here in the country. The Kenya Premier League coming to the end tomorrow, and also we have got the Kenya Simbas playing the elephants at the RFUA ground. Also, some games are happening in Mauritius, considering the Africa Athletics senior championships are happening there and so far kenya is in second in the medal standings with 11 medals and our major ones are there in four gold medals but right now we shift our focus to talk about kickboxing here in the country and joining me to talk much more about kickboxing is takid master who is also the competition secretary in the kenya kickboxing federation takid Karibu sana. Asante ndo. Ongea na nguvu bwana. Kwa sauti ni hivyo lakini kukiaribika kwa mkono na mguu ni tofauti. Eh kwa mkono na mguu ni tofauti. Eh ni moto. Ama ni kuchoka. Hazi, mimi sitokaji. Yeah. Mtu dia tu hivi. Otherwise have you been? I've been okay bro. Yeah. Eh last time we were here we were talking about the Nairobi Open. Yeah. Yeah that was happening actually at the barracks at Kawa Barracks. Yeah. yeah, but now we are here to talk about the Rift Valley Championship that will be heading into Nakuru. Yeah. T tell us about a bit about that event. Okay, the event uh, will be on the 18th yeah. of this month. That's mm. next week, Saturday. Mm. Yeah. So it will be held at Madison Square. Mm. That's in Nakuru. Yeah. So I decided to name the tournament Rift Valley Open. Yes. Yeah, because uh, it's uh, about uh, Nakuru County. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, all teams from different counties will be participating, yes. including the KDF team also. Mm -hmm. Remember last time we were, Nairobi Open was uh, at uh, Kawa Garrison, mm -hmm. so the KDF uh, team hosted us there. Mm -hmm. So we as the federation decided to have the tournament there. Then now this next tournament should mm -hmm. be in Nakuru, the mm -hmm. Rift Valley Open. And we are really um, telling more spectators, uh, more fighters from different teams, to come and participate because uh, these are the tournaments that we are using to uh, select the national team yes that will participate in future uh, mm. international assignments well the last time when takid was here we just talked about uh, kickboxing but today we are going to learn what actually kickboxing is and joining us also here in studio to show us what kickboxing is is actually wilson shege wilson Wilson Shege there also and also with also another team member Isaac Kibe Kamau is also in studio. Eh awa jamaa wako team Kenya bana ya kickboxing mnaenda Commonwealth bana. Ah tuko Commonwealth. Na ngoja Olympics, all of can games, kuna world championship, kuna tournaments mingi. Yeah. Most international assignments to Kondani. Mm -hmm. So the only thing in Akwagani peer support of Akwa government is to come sana. Because uh -huh. uh, in Kenya, we uh have -huh. rugby, we have athletics, we have yes. football. We have a game in Dunia Mzima, we have a game in Kuba, but in Kenya, mm -hmm. football is a game in athletics and rugby. Yes. In Alingana, na stakeholders peer. Mm -hmm. Na CP is a coach, and na a coach, and a team. Mm -hmm federation lazima to make sure tumesukuma game yetu ndio kuje kujulikana zaidi na pia matokeo inafanya pia government na stakeholders mm -hmm. wengi wanaanza kuja wa support yes. teams zenye ziko kwa nations mm -hmm. and represent here yeah. well today we are talking about kickboxing and we'll be talking much more about it but first of all because we have got uh, Isaac here and also Wilson and they are going to be showcasing some what about kickboxing is all about but this one you talked about it will be low Remind me that. Yeah, we have mm. uh, full contact and full, low Yeah, full low contact and low kick. Yeah. So, show us what uh, full contact is, my friend. So, you, you can tell us what uh, that one is. So, this one is full contact. Full contact. Yeah, what does it actually entail? What does it entail? 
Okay, the context is uh, where, but now, yeah. with the rules, yes. the training wise, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. we we'll call it normally yes. boxing. Uh-huh. But now, mm-hmm. with full contact, but yes. the rules, if mm-hmm. they're in the tournament, yeah. he won't be having his uh, mm-hmm. top. Right. He'll be their best. Yes. See? But now, the difference when mm-hmm. it comes to where he's in the knee strike right, uh-huh. on the elbows, yes. he does not come to the yeah. low kick. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Now here, what yeah. we are doing as this federation, mm-hmm. we deal with more mm-hmm. full contact. Full contact. Now, if we have the tournaments, we bring in mm-hmm. even the uh, low kick. Yes. We to contact together because they are all mm-hmm. kick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But mostly for. Right. Okay. Okay. Now you can chill a bit. So? so I was explaining this mm-hmm. uh, yeah. with the full contact is mm-hmm. what he's been doing because he hasn't used uh, any uh, elbow strike. Yes. No knee strike. But now, whenever he'll be using a knee strike, like now, if I tell him to use a knee strike, can you show knee strikes? Now that's a knee strike. Uh huh. Yes. Now show the elbow strike. Elbow again. You see? Yeah. Now the elbow strike mm-hmm. or uh, the knee strike yeah. or kicking to the shin, kicking down low to the shin, kick low that now. Uh-huh. Now while they're kicking down low, mm. yeah. they shouldn't be using the top of their feet. They should be using the shin. Ah, so while okay. he's using his shin, mm-hmm. now that comes to the low kick and yes. mostly it's Muay Thai style. Mm-hmm. Now for the full contact mm-hmm. with the rounders that we use, yes. we use the uh, rounders now you see? Yes. And it's not low, it should be higher above the belt. So now that's what we call full contact now because mm-hmm. the targeting is yes. above the belt. Uh-huh. See? Yes. Now, wherever people fight, the whole body from uh, uh, above the belt to below the belt, yeah. that's where it comes to now full, co- I mean, uh, uh, low kick and most yes. it's Muay Thai, the mm-hmm. elbow strike. We, we use elbow strike, we use mm-hmm. knee strike, we use all the other techniques. While we are only defending ourselves on the streets, let me say, for self defense. Yes. But now, when it comes to uh, tournaments, we have those rules. Mapo, you can give on a patam to a full contact, as it is on a t shirt, nice if a protective gear, kama as a taekwondo, like a gahogo. You can patam to a very say in a tour, light contact. Yeah. You can attach. Not up too light. Mm-hmm. I love to call a semi contact. Semi contact, they play like uh, karate in a way. Yes. You score, mm-hmm. it's being stopped for the points to be counted. You see? Mm-hmm. But now, full contact, there is no control. The way you start it from mm-hmm. a minute yeah. until three minutes, that's mm-hmm. when you finish the first round. Yes. Then you relax in between an interval of a minute. So, the one that you're taking to Nakuru is which that's one? Full contact. Full contact. Yeah. But yes. now, we always incorporate uh, the low contact guys also. Mm-hmm. But we don't have more of them here in the, the country mostly. Yes. The one that dominates, I'm not just trying to praise it because it's ours, but the one that mm. dominates a lot here in this country mm. for the Kenya Kibosing Federation yeah. does full contact mostly. Okay, so that, uh, that, that one has been full contact that you'll be expecting there. So, uh, tell us about the teams that you'll be expecting in Nakuru. Okay, we have uh, uh, Menengai from mm. Nakuru, yes. we have Tsunami from Nakuru, we have uh, Takits from Nairobi, mm-hmm. we have KDF. That's another region. Yes. So mm-hmm. KDF uh, are always on their own. I think you, mm-hmm. you understand what I mean. Yes. Then we have uh, USIU. Mm-hmm. We have uh, uh, Kangemi. Mm-hmm. We have different types. We have Roy yeah. also. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Scorpion from Roy again. Yeah. So mm-hmm. there are different types of uh, clubs that will be participating, like 15 clubs yeah. that are really confirmed. Then uh, there's also one from Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, any advantages, winners, what do, do they take uh, home? As per now, what we always do, you know, my dream is uh, to see kickboxing, making it big, at least to help our youth who have got this talent in future. Yes. Like uh, after every tournament, I would wish that uh, we would get stakeholders who would uh, come in so that we would get a token of like maybe, let me say, number one should get a certain amount, number two and number three. But for now, we always give certificates, medals and trophies for clubs. Mm-hmm. Trophies number one, two, and three are for clubs. Mm-hmm. Then medals number one, two, three are mm-hmm. for individuals. Yes. Then we have certificates for number one, two, three for individuals also. Mm-hmm. So this helps a lot also when it comes to our record when we are selecting the national team for mm-hmm. any international assignment. Well, and uh, the exact place and time that the event will be taking place? Uh, it will start from 9.30. 
mm -hmm. it will be at Madison, Madison Square in Nakuru, mm -hmm. that's in Nakuru City Center. Yes. It's there, it's based there. Mm -hmm. It's a well-known club that many boxers who have been... D does it have uh, allegiance to the famous Madison Square Garden in New York? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they named it that. Yeah, uh, but it has uh, yeah. it has that uh, yeah. root of uh, most uh, Kenyan uh, national team kickboxers for sure. Yes, no, not kickboxers, boxers. Mm. Boxers. Yeah, but mm. like now, Isaac Kibe here is from Nakuru. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been in uh, all African Games also. Mm. Yeah, that was in uh, Algiers, mm -hmm. Algeria. Yeah, which he also brought uh, silver medal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for kickboxing. Yeah. We have Wilson Chege who is also mm -hmm. in the national team. He's from Takids uh, mm -hmm. kickboxing team. Yeah. So we have different uh, national team uh, members, ladies. We have men. We have. Uh, we are also starting now with uh, selecting kids uh, junior team. The national. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when we talk about kickboxing here in Kenya, because uh, for me now we are, we have interacted. I think twice uh, when we did the Nairobi Open. I know that you are previewing the Rift Valley Open that will be happening next week, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday. Uh, next week on Saturday uh, at Nakuru's uh, Madison. Uh, how big is it in Kenya currently? Uh, as per my view and uh, as per my take, uh, mm. now kickboxing is gaining momentum for sure. Because mm. uh, what I can say is that uh, if I look at it the way it started, like uh, some years back, mm. and now just some months, because uh, you remember Corona brought everything down. Yes. And we are already picking up, you see. But now, since we started uh, getting back, it's like been, it's, uh, it's been like, uh, let me say, six months now. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really productive for sure. We have uh, most teams uh, that are participating. The only problem is that, you see, with kickboxing or any kind of martial arts, or let me say combat sports, yes. most people who participate are from, are from uh, ghettos and slums. Mm -hmm. You know that. It's not like golf. Yes. You see? So you find out that uh, they, they, they want to come participate, but they, they are no fans. Sometimes yes. somebody wants to come and participate in Nakuru, for example, now. Mm -hmm. If there will be no more, a lot of teams from Nakuru, that mm -hmm. region, it, will, uh, it won't be easy. Because yeah. people from Nairobi, the only people who will manage to come maybe are from USIU, maybe from Takiz and from a uh, place like uh, KDF. Yes. Because maybe they might get uh, a way of transport to Nakuru, mm -hmm. but not all from other places like Kayole, you see. Mm -hmm. yeah. So kickboxing is now big. It's now ranging to the classes of the Taekwondo in Kenya also, uh -huh. because Taekwondo, you know, has been there for long, it's for Olympics yes. and everything else. And these are uh, Tongil Modo, Karate. Mm -hmm. So we also now gaining it there and we would like to be the biggest martial arts uh, style in Kenya. Uh, it is good that you have brought in karate and taekwondo and uh, when people look at uh, karate, taekwondo and also kickboxing from a layman's perspective, they look a bit similar. Yeah. Considering that we have uh, your colleagues, two of them here, can you uh, just show us an exhibition the difference between taekwondo, karate and kickboxing? Okay. Yeah. Now the difference is this. Uh, like now, I would tell uh, Wilson to do a roundhouse. Uh, Kibe kindly hold the roundhouse target for Wilson. Roundhouse, one. Okay, now just hold it roundhouse way, but do 360 with the front leg. 360. Now such kicks are for Taekwondo. Taekwondo uh -huh. is 75% yeah. kicking, 25% punching. Uh -huh. And now, yeah. uh, can you take a deep stand for Karate? Then karatekas do deep stance mostly. Taekwondo, mm -hmm. are do, they use walking stance, but karate deep stance. Mm -hmm. Now, if he wants to punch, the guards will be here. Mm -hmm. Then there's a way he'll move in mm -hmm. with a punch known as gyakozuki. For us, that's a, that's a, a Japanese word, mm -hmm. gyakozuki. Yeah. Punches they call zuki, but yeah. now gyako is a reverse one. Mm -hmm. But for we, we call it a uh, reverse punch. Mm -hmm. uh, taekwondo call it... Uh, um, they call it uh, Gary, you see? Mm -hmm. So can you try to hit a reverse punch? You see? That's how karatekas do it also. So... Oh. Wilson, they're saying you move a bit here like this to, to the other side. Ah, okay. So yeah. that's a difference. Mm -hmm. And they also have a back fist. Mm -hmm. For a back fist, yeah. that's also in karate, mostly Shotokan karate. Mm -hmm. For a back fist, they only mostly target the temple. Yes. Of the head. Mm -hmm. They hit the buffets. So karate originated from uh, this Japan, this China, 
and uh, the character that we have in Kenya mostly that is now well known the Tongil model is yes. from North Korea Taekwondo mm -hmm. is from South Korea but we have two different uh, types of Taekwondo mm -hmm. we have ITF Taekwondo which is traditional and that's from uh, North Korea then we have uh, uh, WTF World Taekwondo Federation that's mm -hmm. from South Korea and that's the one that mostly most people do even in Kenya that's what we do mm -hmm. and it's the Olympic type of Taekwondo because it's modern yeah. now with kickboxing we yeah. have uh, American type which is ours full mm -hmm. contact and then we have uh, the one from Thailand mm -hmm. that's Muay Thai you see yeah. then now with karate I've told you that 75 percent is punching 25 mm -hmm. percent is kicking mm -hmm. then the stances are deep yeah. but taekwondo stances and uh, kickboxing stances plus bo boxing stances are walking stances. Walking. Yeah. Yeah, sh show us that Muay Thai uh, the type Muay Thai of, is yes. the one that I was showing the mm -hmm. knee strike the mm -hmm. elbow strike yeah. that uh -huh. elbow strike Hold the person close, trying mm. to bring the head down with the yeah. uh -huh. side techniques. That the Muay Thai techniques. Yes, yeah. and the American, which you are using for the competition. Full contact. Yes. Yeah. Now mm. try to combine punches, kicks for full contact. Everything. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we can relax there a bit. Yes. I see yeah. that's full contact now. Yes. And now there's a difference between kickboxing and uh, taekwondo mm -hmm. and uh, karate. karate. All are martial arts, like yes. even wrestling is martial arts. Yes. It's something that combines uh, your arms, your legs, everything. Mm -hmm. But now the difference for kickboxing, it's not that I'm trying to praise kickboxing, but yes. it's real sense because I started while I was 12 years. Mm -hmm. I started with karate, which was known as Wonwado mm -hmm. uh, from North Korea. Yes. They later named it Tongil Modo. Mm -hmm. Currently it's Tongil Modo. Yes. So after Tongil Modo, I joined Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. So Taekwondo is where I got my name, Takid, Taekwondo Kid. Yes. That's my nickname. Mm -hmm. Then from there, from the year 2006, I joined kickboxing, and now I've uh, done almost all these martial arts plus wushu. That's mm -hmm. a Chinese one. So if you look at it deep, uh, deep, I mean, uh, kickboxing is more vigorous, mm -hmm. you see? and for any kind of self-defense, streetwise, yeah. or for the militaries, if you look at it, it's always kickboxing and krav maga. You see, because mm -hmm. with kickboxing, there's no control. Uh huh. But uh, the discipline is the same. Discipline yes. for kickboxing, taekwondo, and karate is the same. You know, most people always think, I think last time you asked me such a question, and today also, mm. according to the question that you've asked about the martial arts, if yes. you summarize everything in, yeah. we all have discipline. And that's why while you are talking, you ask us, why are we talking like we are a lot of Yes. <laughs> yeah. the kind of discipline that we have. It's the way way of life. We, we're not like uh, bouncers, like... Mm. I want to talk then mm. I feel like I'm a lion. Yes. We are lions inside, mm -hmm. not from the outside. Yeah. The but power is mm. from the outside, but yes. the, uh, the strength of energy mm. is always from the inside. Yes. That's what we take. It from. The, 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 one of the things that people want to know, someone out there who is watching actually and will want to join your organization and also learn more about uh, kickboxing will be, what are the major disadvantages sorry, of uh, kickboxing? Disadvantages or advantages? You start with any. Let's go with advantages <laughs> first. Advantages are yeah. that for self-defense is good for you for sure. Mm -hmm. No one can just attack you or take anything from you, whether you're walking in town or anything. Else. Yes. Because everybody needs self-defense. Mm -hmm. Number two is for uh, general fitness. Because mm -hmm. now most people, even if you go online for sure, yes. most people are always asking for kickboxing if they want fitness. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, because me, I, always, I mostly deal with personal trainings, Yes. with the expertise and different people, even with the kids. Most parents do ask kickboxing, ladies kickboxing, because it turns your body. You know, it's general fitness yes. because you punch you mm -hmm. kick you do the general workouts like uh, sit-ups what you jog everything is in you see incorporated yeah. so it's cardio it's more intense mm -hmm. just the same as uh, boxing's cardio you yes see? then uh, another thing is the confidence that it gives you and the discipline mm -hmm. then uh, also per the career wise you can do kickboxing then later you turn to be a coach a personal trainer mm -hmm. anywhere 
So that's how most can turn into yeah, a profession yeah, now. Like now, I have Kibe here yes. who, who coaches people in uh, USIU. Hmm. I have Wilson Chege who hmm. does also training most of my students while I'm not there because he's the team captain of the kids. Hmm. And also, he does most of his personal trainings, you see. Hmm. And that's how they earn their living with their families. Yes. Yeah. What has that been? A disadvantage? Disadvantage? No, hmm. no disadvantage, yeah. according to me. Yeah. Unless uh, you go smoke. Uh -huh. and do something like yes. let me say drugs then mm. you pretend like you might you can jog from kbc to thika yes. you can do a thousand push-ups you mm -hmm. can do no 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 that's a lie for sure yeah. so it's not an, a disadvantage then getting injuries depends yeah. on how you control yourself on, yes uh, into the fitness and that's why you always have mm. trainers they uh -huh. always look after what you should do yes and what to do uh, so that uh, you, you can be avoiding more injuries yeah when, when uh, talking about injuries yeah. what are some of the major injuries that come around when someone is doing kickboxing uh mostly you might just get uh, maybe the leg injuries mm -hmm. if you hit somebody's let me say elbow yes because uh, you know an elbow me those are hard parts of uh, the body the joints you see yes so mostly if you hit them you might get up uh, that uh, the top of your feet mm -hmm. might uh, become swollen and it's just let me say it's not a big injury for sure yes. unless in the tournament mm -hmm. but uh, what i do say i don't always count any injury a lot because there are referees the work of a referee in the ring yes. is to oversee this tournament or now everything is and there are rules that govern the tournament yes you see it's not like uh, what you see in the movies mm -hmm. and it's not like what you see on the streets yeah where you're defending yourself but in the ring there are rules that's why i always tell people even you right now so if you mm -hmm. go to the tournament yes you try even sparring me right here right here now mm -hmm. i won't knock you down these guys will be watching they'll yeah. be telling us no you don't there are limits yeah there are limits that yeah. you should go against, yeah you see mm -hmm. so uh that's the work of a referee and if there's a tournament and uh we see that the, the other opponent is more superior than you yes your, the, your coach or the second always throws in the towel yeah. to save your life and uh, finally as we are coming to the end of this segment we'll have to recap the tournament it's happening it's first of all called rift valley kickboxing open and it's happening in nakuru yeah. Madison Square. Madison Square. The 18th of mm. June. That's yeah. next week, Saturday. It's next week, Saturday. If someone is uh, going to find you, how can they find you and join kickboxing in Kenya? Okay. They find us through Kenya Kickboxing Federation mm -hmm. Facebook page. Yeah. Kenya Kickboxing Federation Facebook page. Yes. Or me as Takid Master mm -hmm. through my uh, YouTube account of Takid Master Kenya. Yes. Or uh, most people contact me also through my number yeah uh, that uh, they get me through if they want to ask about tournaments they want to ask about anything to do with fitness and kickboxing so you get me through 07 yeah. 16 859 113 07 16 859 113 or get to youtube account of Takid master kenya then you'll get everything then if you want to get more from the federation kenya kickboxing federation page book yes facebook page i mean <laughs> Yeah. And that's how you get us. Just a disclaimer, that number is only for kickboxing. <laughs> so don't call <laughs> the kid for any private matters. It's mostly for kickboxing and, that's fitness. Why, and fitness. That's why uh, he has actually given out that number. So tell fans to come out in London. Some of the entertainment that they are going to expect in Nakuru uh, so that what uh, Nakuru and Eza Tokeaban. Yeah, nitawambia hivi watu wetu wanakuru, watu wapi wenye wanaweza pia kuja kutokea njiani wa Nakuru pia kuchekizi mataona kabla nizirudishe Nairobi. Kujeni mjione akina Van Damme live, akina Wilson wako hapa. Nyinyi mmezoea kuona akina Van Damme kwa movie. Yeah. Lakini tuko nao tu huko Kenya. So mnaweza kama pia muone vile watu wanachapana na very soon by the after Nakuru nina tarajia kuwaletea tournament kubwa sana ya kickboxing hapa Kasarani kuje mjionee vile game na kuaga na team zingine pia za kutoka nje so mm -hmm. tunataka well sir good one there you have been talking with the Takid Master who is actually the competitions secretary at Kenya Kickboxing Federation and also a member of professional kickboxing here in the country also we had Wilson Shege and Isaac Kibe Kamau who are actually here in the studio with us and we are giving out talking about Kenya kickboxing and also the Rift Valley Open that will be happening in Nakuru Madison Garden on the 8th of July 2019.
2022. That will be next week on Saturday. That's where we come to the end of the Touchland. Thanks a lot, Takid. Thanks a lot, Wilson and Isaac. We appreciate you coming here in the studio. That's where we come to the end of the Touchline today. Make sure you enjoy some of the things that are happening all around the world. Game 5 will be coming your way, I think, uh, next week. We also got tomorrow Simbas against the Elephants in the Curry Cup match and see how Simbas can they win that one and make their third win in the Curry Cup first division matches. I'm Robert Osoro on behalf of Maxwell Asike and everybody who has managed to make this broadcast a success. We say thank you and good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254.